So I don't know if you guys have heard, but apparently this guy called Donald Trump has won the presidential election in America. And a heap of really whiny cunts have cracked the shits hard. Because apparently he literally hates and wants to kill everyone. It has to be a joke. I cannot believe this is happening. I'm literally about to fucking kill myself and I'm not kidding. You better fucking fix this shit right now. I literally am going to die. I need an ambulance. I can't. Are you freaking kidding me? You've got to be choking me. <laughs> this is the equivalent of having the fucking Westboro Baptist Church as president. If we would have just fucking banded together and sucked it the fuck up and voted for Hillary like an adult, then she would probably be in office right now. I'm honestly really upset that Trump won because he is anti-everything that I am and anti-everything that a lot of my friends are and he's built his campaign solely on hate it was dumb to think Clinton had a chance to win but it's dumber that fucking people elected fucking Trump wow I had no idea a church could become president weird country but anyway, once Donald Trump's victory was announced, apparently there were even heaps of students that protested in the streets, which is a huge concern because students hardly ever overreact to stuff like this. <laughs> Shows how much I know about America. I always thought they elected their presidents via a democratic vote. But this Donald Trump hombre must have taken power by staging an armed coup. Because those students were chanting no justice, no peace. And you'd have to be mentally fucking retarded to march in the streets chanting shit like that if he legitimately won an election. There were even famous people getting all salty about the idea of Donald Trump being the next president. Like this fat goofy looking cunt who called his video Loser Donald Won the Election. Oops. <laughs> what a fucking spastic. The Trumpocalypse has arrived. I am so sad. And I am so angry. And I know that for many of you, your spirit has been crushed. People say that racism and sexism are over. No, <laughs> they're not over. Do you think you're being just a little bit melodramatic, Lacey? I have no respect for women who voted for Trump, okay? Yeah. I think so poorly of them, and the reason why is because, look, I don't think that you're a single issue voter, I just think you're dumb, okay? I think you're fucking dumb. Yeah, well I think you're fucking dumb, and annoying. You're an idiot. You're a bitch. You're an idiot, yes. okay? Oh, uh, fuck you, okay? I just, I'm losing my mind tonight because of how stupid the majority of the country is. You're losing your mind because of? How stupid the majority of the country is. You are such a fucking bitch. Bitch. The results of the election were a stark reminder that we still live in a white supremacist patriarchal nation. Or they were just a reminder that you don't get to have it your way all the time, you fucking baby. Racism, misogyny, and Islamophobia won, as Americans affirmed white supremacy and patriarchy and hate. What the fuck are you talking about? Donald Trump won. And the only thing Americans affirmed is they want him as their next president. And we must give ourselves permission to grieve. But once we grieve, then we fight. Is that right? And do you mean fight as in fight? Or do you mean fight as in whinge and fucking complain on the internet like spoiled little cunts? We cannot let hate win because this isn't just about us. This is about the world. We will resist the hate. It's only through collective action that social justice can prevail. I find myself a damsel standing here in immense distress. <laughs> Everyone, stop. She's not who you think she is. Misogyny. Ah! Misogyny. Misogyny. Misogyny.
damn thing is always going off script. <laughs> Even the supposedly conservative Prime Minister of my country Australia, Australia. sounded like he was announcing some bad news to the country when he spoke about Trump's win. This is a historic moment. It has been a long campaign. It is one that Australians have witnessed with awe, with consternation indeed, from time to time. But let me reassure all Australians that the ties that bind Australia and them in the United States are profound, they are strong, they are based on our enduring national interests. The strange part is, with all these people whinging and complaining, I can't really see what's so bad about the bloke. All you seem to get are meaningless blanket accusations of racism, misogyny and homophobia and people complaining that he's got no experience. But realistically, how many new presidents have experience at being the president before they're the president? Also, the bloke did this. Donald Trump, you are a disgrace, not only to the GOP, but to all America. Withdraw from the US presidential race, as you will never win. But look, you can't stump the Trump. Trump wasn't gonna take this abuse lying down. He wrote back, oh, get this, he said, dopey Prince Al Walid Talal wants to control our U.S. politicians with daddy's money. Can't do it when I get elected. Trump 2016. How awesome is that? That is quite fucking awesome. So, Mr. Trump, for what it's worth, I think you should be proud of yourself for coming this far. You fought a long, grueling fight as the clear underdog. You didn't let yourself falter when millions of people were labelling you as some of the worst things a human can be. And when you came out on top, you did it with humility and grace. I hope you absolutely smash this presidency. Or you could say, I hope you grab this presidency by the pussy. I came up with that one myself. You, you can use it if you want. <laughs>